just want to welcome everybody to the webinar now. This is going to be over e-drawings, training for managers, and we're going to be showing you how to give your team real-time feedback. I just want to first introduce myself. My name is Alex Leon. I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. I have a background in mechanical engineering, and I've been working with SOLIDWORKS products for about two years now. I also want to point out that there's a questions tab on your GoToWebinar here. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and type them into that questions tab, and I'll go ahead and answer them at the end of the session. Let's jump right into it, and let's answer the question many of you are probably asking, and that's what is eDrawings? So eDrawings is a software that allows you to share your CAD files with non-SOLIDWORKS users. This can both be internal employees or external col collaborators, such as your manufacturers. Going on, I want to really stress that using eDrawings requires zero SOLIDWORKS or CAD experience. Anyone can use it. You can send it, for maybe for example, to your marketing department, and they would also be able to use it. eDrawings allows you to protect your intellectual property while you send these 3D models. It'll also create lightweight files that you'll be able to easily email these 3D files for everyone to view. You also have the ability to measure, markup, and comment on your parts and assemblies that your teams are creating. And this way, it'll get rid of the lengthy process of taking screenshots of the parts and assemblies, and then maybe having to go into some kind of picture editing software like Paint and typing out whatever comment you want to send to your non-SOLIDWORKS user. eDrawings also gives us the ability to view our designs from iOS and Android devices. And we're also able to see simulation results. Maybe if your team works on simulations, you can use this to show your simulation results to non-SOLIDWORKS users, as well as motion analysis and motion animations created within the SOLIDWORKS platform. I just want to briefly talk over what files eDrawings can open. You can open SOLIDWORKS natives files, eDrawings files, which are file formats specific to eDrawings, DXF and DWG files. So you know, kind of underlying there. That means that we can also, instead of just looking at 3D files, we can also be looking at 2D files as well. We can also look at pro engineering files, 3D XML files, STL files, and CALS files. So you never have to worry about CAD compatibility when you're working in eDrawings. Let's move on. And I want to talk to you about the differences between eDrawings viewer or standard and eDrawings Professional. eDrawings Standard comes with all seats of SOLIDWORKS, be it if you have the Core, Pro, or Premium. And this allows you to view your 3D models, rotate them, zoom in and out of them, while eDrawings Pro actually comes with SOLIDWORKS Pro and Premium licenses. If you're using SOLIDWORKS Professional or Premium right now, you can start utilizing eDrawings Pro today. And w when you go from standard to professional in eDrawings, you unlock the ability to measure your parts, mark up the parts as well, and create comments for collaboration. You can create section views of your parts to see the interior details. You can password protect your parts and assemblies, protecting your intellectual property. You'll be able to view multiple configurations that your team has been creating. You can play your motion analysis animations that have been created on SOLIDWORKS. You will be able to explode the views of your assemblies. Also, the people you're collaborating with aren't always going to have eDrawings Professional. But that's okay because when you have Professional yourself and you're saving your files to send off, the software just smartly recognizes and gives it a tag internally. And that way, when someone else is viewing your parts through eDrawings Viewer, it unlocks the professional features on their system just for that file that you're using. So that way you can have people without eDrawings professionals still mark up and measure on your drawings if, if you want them to do that. You can also use this to save to an STL file format for manufacturing or 3D printing. And then also a really cool feature is the ability to have eDrawings work for mobile devices. And this is just, this is both for iOS and Android devices. 
There's a standard eDrawings app, and this would cost you $1.99 in your cell phone's app store, and the professional version, which is $9.99. Now, the standard eDrawings viewer for the iOS is the same as the standard viewer in the Windows format, while the mobile professional version gives you the ability to measure markup just like the professional, but it doesn't allow you to enable markup and measure on other parts. Um, you can't save it an STL and you can't password protect your files from the mobile version, which is okay because you can do all of that from the professional version on the Windows. But an added bonus for using it on your mobile devices is they give you the ability to use artificial reality so you can use your phone to have your part show up in your surrounding environment. And they also give you a VR option. So if you're into that and want to put on the VR goggles, you can go ahead and look at your model through that method as well. So it's pretty cool. You have the ability to, wherever you go, have these 3D files. So let's say you're at some business meeting, but you don't really have SOLIDWORKS on your computer, but you start talking to someone and it seems like they're interested in your product, but you don't have anything to show them. Unless you have this app and you already have your file saved there, you can just easily show them your 3D files and view and rotate them while on the go with your Android phone or tablet. Here I have the product matrix for eDrawings Pro and eDrawings Viewer for both the Windows and mobile platforms. I'm just kind of going to let you look at this for now, just briefly. So let's kind of uh, go look at eDrawings in action now. So here I have an assembly file that I've gone ahead and saved into the eDrawings format. And the first thing I want to point out is just what we can do with the viewer version. We can rotate our models like this. We can use any of this top toolbar here to maybe pan our model across. You know, if we want, we can zoom in, maybe zoom in onto this label here. I can access all my standard views from this portlet here. Maybe I want to see this in a wireframe version or without the edges, just like this. And then finally, also in standard, we can go ahead and just animate through all of those standard views I just showed you. And eDrawings will just slowly go through all the views. Okay, I'll pause that here. I think you guys get the idea with that. And then now what I'm going to show you is what's available to you once you're in eDrawing's professional version. We could, you know, see exploded views. So if I click explode here, it'll explode out my assembly here and I can view individual components as I see fit. I can press this home button here and it'll reset my part back to its original position. I can individually move parts as I see fit. And another cool tool here is I can actually get measurements on my part. So let's say I want to see the you know diameter of this bolt here. I can easily use the measurements. I can change which units I want to be using here. Yep. A great way that you can collaborate, and this is kind of what I'm talking about, where you get rid of that process of taking screenshots and you know, the worry of, I want to show my 3D files to someone, but, you know, I, they don't have SOLIDWORKS, so I can't really communicate with them, so I have to communicate through these screenshots. Well, instead, we can add markups to this. You know, for example, I have my stamps here. Maybe this hasn't been approved yet, so I want to just go ahead and say, this isn't approved. So I click onto that stamp, click it here, and I can readjust this as I see fit. I want to note you can also create your own stamps. So whatever you know you need in the stamp, you can go ahead and create your own. And we can go ahead and help you out with that if that's something you're interested in. Another thing I wanted to point out here is this markup tool. This is what's going to give us the ability to communicate with either external partners or internal collaboration here. So let's say you get a part from your engineers and you want to add some comments. Maybe you want to 
talk about the material here on the rubber grip here. So I can go to this markups tool here and then can go here and add a new comment. Once I've added a new comment, I can now start putting on the text and leaders of what I want to say. I'm going to go here to the labels and I'm going to make sure I have this leader here selected. Click on to this grip here and I'll drag out here. Maybe I want to check the spec sheet and make sure we're going to get the right material on this grip. So I can write a little comment here. And I can click OK and it gets placed. Notice it runs off uh, the end of the screen here. I want this to be more compact. It's really easy to do that. I can just double click here and make sure I have this wrap text option selected. And I can just decrease the size of this window here. Click OK and it'll copy the text in that wrap manner that I had there. But the great thing about markups is, if you'll see here on the comment, it goes ahead and it lists my name, Alex Leon comment, so it knows that I'm the one that commented. On the same file here, I can have multiple people comment on it and we can know who said what. For example, maybe I'm done with this and at the same time my engineer sent it off to the manufacturer and he goes and he, he takes the dimension from here to here and he gets that depth dimension and he realizes he's not going to be able to do that for whatever reason. He might write cannot manufacture this need redesign and he'll click OK and it would if I would have gone ahead and created a new comment it would then have that manufacturer's name and you can go ahead and you can reply to comments and give feedback based off of what people are saying. And you can have more than one person. So, you know, maybe I, as the manager, for example, thinks every, everything's okay and it's good to go. But the manufacturer comes along and he realizes, oh no, we've got some issues with this part here. We got to go ahead and make some changes. So you can have multiple people comment on the same file. Moving along, I want to show you also here in SolidWorks. I have this part that is part of that assembly I just showed you and we have some annotations that are created from SolidWorks DIM Expert tool. If anyone's wondering, this is a tool available to everyone, core, premium, uh, professional, that went ahead and put on all of my manufacturing information here and I did it on my 3D model instead of doing a 2D drawing. Well, I can now go ahead and also save this as an eDrawings file and that eDrawings file will go ahead and create all of these dimensions and I'll be able to see these dimensions on the file. I'll also be able to save this as a step 242 format and save it as an attachment onto eDrawings. What this will allow me to do is it'll allow me to have all that manufacturing information located with, within the eDrawings file and I'll be able to have a manufacturer maybe generate CNC code for this. I just want to briefly show you some options here while saving these files. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do file, I'm going to go save as here. And I'm going to rename this so I don't get any uh, overwrite messages. And I'm going to go and I'm going to look for the E drawings on this drop down as the save as type. Once I have that selected, I can click save and SolidWorks goes ahead and gives me this dialog box to I want to go ahead and save a step 242 attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and click onto this attachment here so I can have that machine readable file format as I was telling you about earlier. And then I want you to also note here, it available in the professional version of eDrawings, you can password protect your files. So that way you can set a password for these files, give the password out to the people you want to view the files, and you can rest well knowing that the only people that are going to be able to open this file have to have that password that you've created. I'm going to close out now because I don't need a password. But I want to go to the options command here. And we have some options here, but the one I really want to highlight is this OK to measure this eDrawings file. If I have this checked right now, anyone, even if they have eDrawings viewer, which is not the professional version, will be able to measure the file. If you're concerned about your intellectual property and you don't want people to be able to measure and get dimensions on your models, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that this is unchecked. 
if you do want the people you're sending it to to be able to measure and you know that they don't have eDrawings Professional or SolidWorks, you're going to go ahead and check this off and they'll be able to do measurements. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And I already have this saved. So I'm going to go back into eDrawings here. I'm going to open a new file. You can see here, like I said, we have all of that product manufacturing information located on our uh, eDrawings file. Notice as I click onto the dimensions here, it goes ahead and graphically shows me with these green shaded areas here what the measurements are measuring here. And if you remember, I saved this as a step 242 attachment so I can have that machine readable format. So to view that, I can go to attachments here and I have the raw end here saved as a step 242. I can click view attachment. It's going to load up here. And once again, I have the same file here. Kind of looks the same. The difference being is that this file format is machine readable if you guys do any uh, CNC coding. Another thing I want to go ahead and show you is the ability to view simulation results. So if you guys have a team that does simulation at all, we can go ahead and see the simulations of our part. I have here that same raw end part, and I've gone ahead and earlier I ran a static study over this. You know, and I can go ahead and see this is the stress that's affecting my part. Um, and it gives me this graphical overlay so I can see where the high stress areas are. And it also gives me this chart over here on the right, giving me that legend. If you want to see other studies, for example, right now we're looking at a static uh, stress plot here. Maybe I want to see the displacement and see which parts of the rod end here are moving too much. And I can see it here and maybe I think, hey, this amount of displacement is too much. We can also mark up these as well. I could say displacement is too high. Fix this. And then I can have my engineers go and they're going to fix the displacement for me now. So yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate that we can also see our simulation results that are created from SOLIDWORKS on this program as well. Final thing I want to show you guys is that Bill of Materials also works on eDrawings for us. So I have another file that I'm going to open here. And I have another assembly. It's a smaller assembly right now, but I have a Bill of Materials here. I'm going to go ahead and select on my bill of material and it goes ahead and dynamically highlights the parts that I'm selecting so I can visually see what what it is I'm clicking on and what the corresponding item number is in the bill of material. Okay. Just kind of just showing you that there. That is SolidWorks eDrawings professional and standard. This pretty much concludes our webinar here. I wanted to give you guys my contact information. If you want me to send you directly the link to the video when we post it, or you have any questions that you can't think of now, but maybe you think of later, here's my email for you guys to get in contact with me. Mm -hmm.